Наш, который обучал всех нас по лоскопии. В частности, это мой сенсей, в том числе в 2014 году в Национальном автоцентре а также имела честь быть обученной и провела три недели совместно рука об руку с этим замечательным доктором. Так, исторические аспекты эндоскопической диагностики и лечения раненого рака желудочно-кишечного тракта профессор Максута Иолова.
As for the technical issue, preparation is very, very important to detect early stage gastric cancers. Under such, under such situation, very difficult to recognize early stage lesions. So in Japan, now in, in our hospital, cancer center hospital, we ask the patient to drink a cup of water uh, with uh, promise and gemetrium and bicarbonate prior 10 to 20 minutes prior before my examination for all people. Under such good uh, preparation, you can detect such fraud British are gastric cancer. Moreover, careful observation is very important during screening uh, gastroscopy. Usually we take pictures, 30 to 40 pictures for each patient. Moreover, adequate inflation is very, very important to reduce the risk region. Under such situation, you all cannot detect the region. Under inflation, enough inflation, you can recognize here the breast, reddish, the breast area. This was cast with cancer. Chromoendoscopy is sometimes helpful for us to recognize the region. Under the ice spray in the Mokanamai, you can recognize this flood to a type of flood gastric cancer. <coughs> anyway, um, subtle, uh, can we need to pay attention subtle color change or slightly depressed or slightly elevated findings are key to detect early gastric cancer before it will come by now by the BI observation. So, of, of course, it's important to have knowledge of the proportion of macroscopic type of early gastric cancers. From our data, 70%, more than 70% were diagnosed as 0-2C, the breast type. And the other type was flat elevated. They have two-way type and they have two-way plus two C type. Such macroscopic type is common. <coughs> so I would like to show you the, some examples. These two cases were differentiated other than it's normal, slightly depressed region. How about this? This is an example of undifferentiated poorly differentiated or significant cell carcinoma. You need to pay attention to the pale color, white color here, slightly depressed area. After dying to color lines, you can easily recognize the region. These are all uh, improving causal, poorly differentiated other carcinoma or significant cell carcinoma. So after recognition of the region, recently, now, we can use, available to use the NVI with magnification. <coughs> so after recognition, here, zoom out, we can see more detailed surface vascular pattern and the surface pattern. Professor Yao uh, proposed a uh, VS classification uh, in this classification, we need to observe not only vascular pattern, but also surface pattern. So maybe easy to differentiate neoplastic or non-neoplastic lesion and the NDI is magnification. You can see the irregular vessels in the demarcated area. This is the typical findings of cancer. How do you think about these two erosive chains, A and B? In the area A, you can see the regular, uh, uh, regular surface pattern. No findings of irregular vessels, vascular pattern. Therefore, 
easy to diagnose as benign lesion, just erosion. In contrast, in the area B, I was thinking about that, you can observe the irregular stress levels in the demarcated area, so we should judge as cancer. Final result, his pathological result was as cancer. So, this, I will show you the very short video clip to trace the margin before and ask treatment we need to the margin. Under white light observation, it's very difficult to recognize the region margin. Under Ujimo Karabai line, you can see a little bit depressed area here, but difficult to trace the margin completely. So under such situation, and we are using magnification is very helpful for us to recognize the origin of the cancer of the margin. Maybe you already understand these irregular vectors in the demarcated area is the cancer's findings. In contrast, more difficult. <laughs> but the other area is that you can see that regular surface, so completely different. So before ESD procedure, we put on the margin using by this technique. And finally, we can trace put on the margin in the whole area. So by using, when we use the IT knife, 
we need to cast some ribose array correctly from the edge of the some ribose array area, yes, like this. So parallel movement, the slowly gentle movement is very uh, important to avoid perforation. Well, of course, during the ESC procedure, severe bleeding and perforation is the biggest complication. To avoid such complications, such movement is very, very important. So, uh, this time, I came here uh, with Drs. Abe and Sekiguchi from Tokyo. It takes about 10 hours from Tokyo to Moscow. So, I'm, we are very happy and thanks again for Russian uh, people's hospitality and kindness. So, next topic is our corrective cancer. This is a five year survival rate for corrective cancer by stage. Corrective cancer also, if we can meet at early stage, most of the patients can be cured by endoscopic treatment or surgery. For a preparation, good preparation is indispensable to pick up clinically important lesions, depressed stem lesions and front lesions. And for such preparation, we easily miss such kind of clinically important, clinically important lesions. Now in Japan, uh, we ask the patient to drink uh, low volume PEG, only breath, one to two liters, on the examination day morning. This is standard Japanese preparation method. Moreover, recently we can use such kinds of image enhanced endoscopy. NBI and AFI and the other BMI and MCI, such kind of modalities are helpful for us to recognize such kind of front lesions. So now, already mentioned, Lucera Elite system is available in Japan. So this system provides a brighter image than the previous ones. <coughs> I will show you the video clip. This video clip kindly, Dr. Ikematsu, National Cancer Center Hospital East, uh, in this video clip. Under original, previous system, even we use a high definition protoscope, we cannot observe the end of the silicon bottom, very dark image. But now, completely different. Under any system, very bright image can be obtained like this. More than the observation, more bright images can be seen like this. Completely different from the previous ones. So this in using this by using this area system, the pre uh, old scope Q240 system scope is also can be, uh, can be observed clear uh, variety images. So processor is completely different from new one and previous one. And 290 series chronoscope also provides us wide amount of views from 140 degrees to now 170 degrees. And passive bending and high force transmission, such kind of functions are very helpful for us during extraction. Moreover, near focus, real focus system is available in these 290 scopes. Just after pushing this button, we can get such kind of image. Probably it's enough to distinguish neoplastic or non plastic by using this near focus, dual focus system. Not necessary to uh, up to 100 times. So when you use this system, very simple, after pressing the bottom, just close the region. The suitable distance is 4 to 9 meter from the region. So after closing the scope, you can get such kind of 
magnified images. During the diagnostic colonoscopy, uh, we have to decide a therapeutic strategy. How do you think about these regions? Among these 24 regions, we can cure by ESD or EMR just these seven regions. The other uh, regions, cancer already invaded into some mucosa layer deeply, or lymphovascular involvement is positive. Therefore, we could not care, cure such regions, even we can perform ESD. <coughs> According to the Paris classification, such three factors, some mucosa are deep invasion, more than 1,000 micro, or lymphovascular involvement, and for influential components, such three factors are considered as a risk of lymphoma metastasis. Therefore, we should choose the indicated cases without lymphoma metastasis. So when I'm a young doctor, we have to, I have to decide that the strategy is just only such conventional white light observation or chromoelastomy. Deep depression of all the convergency and uh, irregular bottom of depression surface, such findings are, of course, very important findings to decide a therapeutic strategy. This is a typical finding of some cause of deep invasion. These factors or findings are also uh, key to decide uh, invasive depths. Expansion of harm findings, harm consistency and irregular surface, and loss of regulation and sick stop in the penalty region. Such findings are very important under conventional observation. From since the 1995 or the end of 90s, we can use the pitch pattern diagnosis. Professor Kudo, one of the most famous Japanese industrialists, this is a Kudo's classification. This classification consists of seven types of pitch pattern, type 1, 2, 5, N. N means bone structure. In your hospital, my medical doctor Fuji proposed this clinical classification non-neoplastic, non-invasive, and invasive but a more simple classification, simple classification. The definition of invasive pattern is like this. If we can observe irregular or distorted pits in the demarcated area. Demarcated area means the depression or any shaded area or at volume. If we found these findings, we just as invasive pattern. So we should not perform endoscopic treatment. We should send surgery directly. So based on the result, the region diagnosed as invasive pattern, 86% regions were diagnosed as final pathological result, while some people are deep invasive cancer. In contrast, the region diagnosed as non-invasive pattern, 98% cases of adenoma or intramucosal cancer. Recently, endocytoscopy is available in Japan from Olympus. This is the next generation and last technology that enables cellular imaging at 520 times magnification. Professor Kudo's team reported the usefulness of endocytoscopy with AI technology. It's a very promising modality now in Japan. Also, we propose this JNET classification. Maybe you know the nice classification. This classification is basically based on NBI with magnification, optical magnification. So we classify into type 1 to type 3. Type 1 is typical finding of selective lesion, hyperplastic polyp or SSA, SSL or such kinds of selective lesions. And type 2 a corresponds to the low grade adenoma, so you can remove cord perfectly or EMR. 
And the type 3 is a typical finding is understood because a deep indented cancer or advanced cancer. Therefore, we need to send surgical operation directly. Type 2B consists of several pathological findings. High grade dysplasia to invasive cancer. So, if we judge as type 2B under NVI is magnification, we need additional pit pattern diagnosis. We strongly recommend to add pit pattern diagnosis. I will show you the case. In this case, this region was located in the left single junction, the flat region. Maybe it's changed. First impression in 2A type region, flat elevated region. But after changing in NBI, you can recognize the crest margin, the center of the region, like this. So this is a typical depress 2C type region. 2C or 2C plus 2A, 2A plus 2C region. So this video taken uh, by narrow near focus magnification. So it's enough to observe the bus vessel and surface pattern in the center of the region. So we can observe a vascular area and the severe irregularity of the vessel. So we should judge as type 3. So in this case, a 3 d by surgery. So from the late of 2000s, in the corrector field, also shifted from piecemeal EMO to endoscopic submucosal dissection. This case was referred to a hospital as a type 2, T2 region, but we can observe regular bit in the center of the region, so we tried endoscopic submucosal dissection for this case. Fortunately, we got the unblocked piece, a piece, one piece, and precise his pathological assessment as possible. In the center of the region, cancer invaded some mucosa layer, and after immunochemical staining, we measured the degree of invasion depth. Finally, just 800 microns. So, without uh, Living vascular involvement and particular components. So, therefore, we follow up this patient. Actually, this case was treated by more than seven years ago, so still now, the patient is coming for uh, outpatient clinic, no regardless. Finally, so pathological result of like this. So now in our hospital, uh, during the corrector ESD, we can use several devices. My senior doctor side prefer to prefer a bipolar system, needle knife, to monopolar knife. But some other doctors now using uh, DRJ or flash like such kind of modalities. Of course, the CO2 insufflation or short SD distal attachment is indispensable, necessary. Uh, to perform the correct ESD procedure. Now, ESD has been standardized. So this is the uh, indication is very important. Lateral spreading tumor and ST region is of course very important indication for ESD, but also in the region with some mucosal fibrosis, including the recurrent regions. Such regions can be treated by ESD now. But this case was referred to a hospital uh, after biopsy, but fragment of biopsy. Previous of the kindly took biopsy many pieces to confirm cancer, high grade expression. So after that, you can see here the scarred findings. So such cases are a good indication for ESD. So conventional endoscopy with carbon dye, no findings of the breast area. And then we are observation we just as type 2A and pit pattern diagnosis was type 4P or type 3 p non-invasive pattern. So we try to perform ESD for this case. I will show you the short video quick. 
steps of ESD, corrector ESD, is not the same as Caspic ESD, but not usually not necessarily to put on the market because most cases, corrector cases, are easy to recognize the margin. So after injection, we cut the margin using bipolar knife. We inject it into some water area, not normal cell, we inject glycerol or hyaluronic acid with small amount of glucanamide. Therefore, blue color layer is safe area, some water area. Such kind of minor reading, no problem, we can stop reading using such kind of devices, vibration forceps. This, and then we can continue some this section into some of the region. The center of the region we found that whitish colored area. This color is no findings of skull, but the center of the region has a whitish fibrotic area. In this such kind of area, we need to pay careful dissection is necessary under the situation. Unfortunately, finally we can achieve the unbroken rejection by ESC technique. This finding is a scary fibrotic chain is particularly very difficult during this uh, <coughs> section. Okay. So finally, <coughs> final histological pathological result of hybrid dysplasia. Complete rejection was achieved. So in summary, image enhanced endoscopy and lucidity system for like image providers for precise endoscopic diagnosis for IGI cancers. With the development of various devices, ESC procedure has become safer and more reliable treatment technique in Japan. This is our cancer center hospital. In front of we have a big fish market. But unfortunately, big fish market moved another area. But no problem. There are many sushi restaurants still that we have. So uh, please come to our hospital. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. fundamental and comprehensive speech whether you know that you uh, Dr. Abba and Dr. Siki Buche are all here together with us today uh, and uh, that is leadership